What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are of course going to be talking about Shiba Inu. As you guys know, we've been pretty much tracking Shiba Inu for over a week now, as consolidation has slowly veered us on to a little bit longer journey than we had expected, as we've been pretty much tracking Shiba, like I said, for over a week, and we've started a countdown, which pretty much uh, came to an end briefly until we figured out that Shib was actually starting to form what appears to be a longer or bigger symmetrical triangle formation. We're also starting to see what could be potentially a falling wedge fractal, something along the lines of this, which could extend us out lower. Um, still, I don't think it's as possible as the symmetrical triangle is that we have drawn as Shiba tends to form more symmetrical triangles than it does form uh, descending fractals like that or bull flags in that nature. So more so what we're looking for is just the ending point, finding that bottom for Shiba Inu, where we could pretty much expect to see a decision where either prices tend to pop above that resistance and swing up or prices pop below it and tend to swing down we've been talking about this for days now we're all getting you know uh impatient waiting for that decision to be made but we are very close and i promise you it will be rewarding when we do decide to actually get that breakout we've seen it happen before and each time shiba has decided to make a run it has been with tons of volume backing it on numerous occasions and numerous times during the price breaks they tend to see major swings to the upside you'll also notice in reference to what I meant by a descending uh, fractal here is this kind of scenario here. Although one could say this could be some sort of downtrend here, this more or less is a descending fractal, which we could still theoretically be seeing the same thing. Ideally, the break that it had was once it came back down to retest the previous support or where the breakout originally started from, that's when we saw the potential run. That's when we saw that break. So we could see a similar pattern here, which basically tracks the price of ship. Doesn't really have much more to move down to, but it would be right around this level over here. So this is a possibility, but we'll talk more about that later on. A continued sponsor on the channel. Today's video is brought to us by Metamoose, as you guys can see here. They're a metaverse NFT. And as you can see by their Twitter, they're currently moosing around in the metaverse with an upcoming 10K NFT collection on the Ethereum blockchain, which is super cool. And they're launching coming April. So literally next month, they will be launching their collection. So definitely stick around to the end of today's video where we will be going in depth about the Metamoose Club. I've also linked them down in the description below if you'd like to check them out earlier. With this all being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's episode. So guys, as you can see here, I do have Shiba Inu pulled up and you can see we're forming some sort of symmetrical triangle, but I did want to touch upon the fact that there could be some sort of descending fractal and the possibility of us breaking through this bottom support and falling lower and just preparing and planning for that. Ideally, what I've started to notice a couple of days ago is the fact that Shiba Inu has formed in the past these major descending fractals. And you can see we were looking for some sort of uptrend here, some sort of symmetrical triangle to allow us to say, okay, this is when the point of breakout would be. But ideally, what ended up happening was we formed more so this descending fractal where there was a bottom support that we were more heavily dominant on. You can see prices typically tended to flow on this bottom support. Then we were at the top here, which just shows there was more of a bearish uh, correction. There was more bears prominent than there were bulls here. But ideally, it pulled us all the way back down to the lowest point, which was this purple band right here, marking the immediate point of breakout that we originally had. So if we were to you know flash forward here and look at what exactly is going on now, you can see something interesting for here on the daily charts. It seems like Shiba Inu is doing a similar pattern where there is this downtrend here, but we don't typically tend to be more reliant on this bottom support. We seem to be floating inside at both the top resistances and the bottom support, which is mapping this out to be more so what appears to be the symmetrical triangle. Regardless of each break, there is the possibility that Shib could pull all the way down to this support level over here, but we are still going to take that with a grain of salt and pay more attention to the possibilities of seeing Shiba Inu in more of a symmetrical triangle. If ideally we do decide to break through this support here, regardless, we will be entering a short with the possibilities that we pull all the way back down to this here, obviously creating that stop loss tight that in the event that we do decide to reverse up, at least we'll be able to lock in some profits. You can see here that prices started to slow down and almost funnel into this bottom support right here. And you can see that this is pretty much where Shiba Inu is going to have to make a decision. Now that we're intertwined within the bottom support and top resistances here, a decision is going to have to be made with not a lot of time left. And we'll probably get that answer by the end of this week. Either A, and as you can see, we're already starting to see the uncertainty, but either A, we're going to be breaking through this resistance, buying in long with the anticipation of swinging back up to its moving averages, or B, buying in for a short with anticipation of 
of a drop. And it's not just Shiba Inu that you have to focus on. This seems to be happening on almost all the cryptocurrencies. Finally, I guess for some odd reason, Shiba Inu is now very much so intertwined and correlated with the XRP symmetrical triangle that's forming here too. And ideally, the same time we probably see a pop or a drop within XRP, we're going to see the same thing happen within Shiba Inu or vice versa. So you can and there will be many opportunities to buy both or one or the other. It's also very interesting to notice that the other cryptocurrencies not so much are seeing that same pattern. Bitcoin as well as Ethereum aren't necessarily seeing that. We're starting to see a resistance on Ethereum and an uptrend on Bitcoin here. Um, ideally, the only way we would probably see both of those two break bearish is if we see Bitcoin break through its uptrend here, which is still possible with the anticipation of a correction that would ultimately influence every cryptocurrency to see the dip here. But we might start to see actually XRP and SHIB act independently and just, you know, decide to move on its own. And ideally that would allow us to buy into SHIB and XRP independent of the pattern that Bitcoin and Ethereum move to. Regardless, we still have our targets drawn as to seeing where the breakout could lead us to. As you can see, the original ones happened more clearly on the four hour and then even clearer on the hourly charts here. I understand very much so that these videos can become very overlapping and boring as we're starting to repeat ourselves in regards to the past couple of days here that Shiba Inu has pretty much been trading sideways here. But this is all in anticipation for the possibility of seeing us either break through or below one of these supports and resistances, which is going to happen any minute now. And that would ideally allow us to enter for a pretty substantial trade. Otherwise, guys, I guess that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. With that all being said, I do want to talk more about MetaMoose NFT with you. I want to give a huge shout out to MetaMoose for sponsoring today's episode. As with all NFT projects, please do research and never invest anything you can't afford to lose. So guys, in recent news, MetaMoose Club unveils a revolutionary NFT collection inspired by and in service of wildlife conservation. Now they're revealing their collection of 10,000 moose NFTs. Now the MetaMoose Club trailblazes a new path with a unique entry into the metaverse and expansion into a decentralized blockchain based hunting platform. Now launching their first ever NFT collection, Moose NFTs, the MetaMoose Club, also known as MMC, begins their foray into the NFT space with with a 10,000 collection on the Ethereum blockchain. Considered just the beginning of what is in store for MMC, this collection represents the merging of art, technology, wildlife appreciation, and charity. Now the MetaMoose Club, a team of six based out of Texas in the US, are marking their territory in the NFT space and revolutionizing the synergy of decentralization and gaming. Now guys, with a mission to bring awareness to wildlife issues, such as poaching and even unethical hunting practices, MMC looks forward to growing a community around the mission of responsible hunting and wildlife preservation. Now their NFT project stands out as the first of many that are designed to support this cause and grow awareness around promoting biodiversity, supporting ecosystems, and giving back to various charities with aligned values. Now the story of the MetaMoose includes the journey of the revered animals into the metaverse after wandering through the mysterious lands and stumbling through a fortuitous portal. Now finding themselves in a stunning new realm, the MetaMoose quickly establish themselves as the ambassadors of the newfound metaverse full of swag and cool confidence. And from here, they begin their adventures and embark on true otherworldly explorations. Now, the artwork representing the Moose NFT collection features various Moose personalities, traits, and even looks. Stylized as fun, funky characters, each Moose's characteristics are unique and one of a kind, and each Moose NFT will allow holders to be raffled into a whitelist for the 3D playable Moose Avatar pre-sale. And as holders, the collection will also gain special privileges as players in the Meta Moose Lodge hunting game and first access to exclusive news as well as future drops. Now, upcoming projects of the MetaMoose Club will also include the MMC merch store, the introduction of Celestial City Coin, and various interactive opportunities and events. The hunting game will stand out as revolutionary, decentralized, blockchain-based hunting platform, the first ever of its kind. And in pioneering such experiences for the metaverse and utilizing blockchain capabilities, the MetaMoose Club is forging a strong entrance into the meta realm with the purpose of wildlife preservation propelling them ahead. And it is their aim to continually support their mission and uphold MMC value in creating new and unique experiences and collections to enjoy. Now guys, to learn more about the MetaMoose Club and their upcoming launch of the MetaMoose 10K collection, you can find them on their website, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and Telegram, which I've all linked in the description down below. Otherwise, shout out again to MetaMoose for sponsoring today's episode. As always, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. <laughs>